After Effects 7 has introduced us to a brand new unified interface. In this tutorial, we'll take a quick look at how to navigate that interface. The main window is called the Application window, and this is divided into frames. Frames contain dockable panels and panel groups. An arrangement of various panels is called a workspace. At the top right of the application window, there's a list of task-based workspaces that come standard with After Effects, and you can choose a new workspace from this list at any time. You can also save your own custom workspaces and they become available in this list. If you make changes to a saved workspace and want to go back to the original, you can reset it. Panels can be quickly resized by clicking and dragging on the edge of a frame. And any panel can be instantly maximized by hitting the tilde key. You don't have to select the panel, just move the cursor over the panel and hit the key. Panels can be easily rearranged by clicking and dragging to what are called drop zones. To move a panel, click the panel gripper and drag the panel over a drop zone. Docking drop zones appear along the edges of panels. Grouping drop zones appear in the middle and along the tab area of a panel. To move a group of panels, click the group gripper and drag. Panels and panel groups can be placed in floating windows, and this is handy if you work with two monitors. To make a floating window, from the panel menu choose Undock Panel. This moves the frontmost panel, or Undock Frame. This moves the entire panel group. A shortcut is to hold down the Command key on Mac or Control on Windows and drag. To close panels and frames, from the panel menu choose Close Panel. This will close the frontmost panel, or the entire frame if only one panel is open. To close all the panels and the frame, choose Close Frame. You can also close panels and frames by clicking the Close button on the main tab. Use the mouse wheel if you have one to quickly scroll and zoom panels. A panel doesn't need to be active for you to scroll or zoom, just move the cursor over it first. If you hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt on Windows, you can zoom into the area under the cursor. You can also scroll vertically in various panels and horizontally by holding down the Shift key. Another quick way to scroll is by using the Hand tool. Just click and hold the spacebar, then drag in a panel to scroll. The Composition, Layer, Footage and Effect Controls panels all have a special kind of panel called a viewer. A viewer can contain multiple comps, layers, footage items or effects controls, and you use the Viewer tab menu to switch between the open items. Another way of working is to have a separate viewer for each item and dock them together. For example, you may need to view and work on multiple comps or layers at once. This is often referred to as the Edit This, Look at That technique. To set this up, click the padlock to lock the viewer to the current content. Then double click another comp, layer or footage item to open it. Because the original viewer is locked, this creates a new viewer panel. To see them both at once, simply click and drag to dock the panels together. Clicking the Close button on a viewer panel closes the entire contents of the panel and the panel itself. If there's only one panel in the frame, then the entire panel will close. This can get frustrating if it wasn't what you intended. To close the content and not the entire panel, from the Viewer tab menu choose Close Selected, with Selected being the name of the present content, or Close All to close all content, leaving an empty frame. 
An even better way is to use the keyboard shortcut. If there's content in the panel, this shortcut closes the content before closing the panel. Okay, so go ahead, jump in, get your hands dirty and enjoy this amazing new release of After Effects. This is John Dickinson, bye for now.